Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is to talk about a update to Google Chrome. If you are using Google Chrome, a new version is now available. Simply take your Google Chrome browser, go to the upper right corner, help, and about Google Chrome, and it should update today to 96.0.4664.45. Now, what's interesting is that most of the blog posts that I've seen are um, rather quiet on new features or changes. Even uh, Google Chrome's own blog post is not really mentioning much. There are some internal developer changes and uh, things that are um, for developers, but it seems like the front-facing features or anything are not really... Uh, talked about right now, so I'm wondering if there's really a lot of change in here. There's some bug fixes, of course. Also, what's interesting is that it doesn't seem to come with a security updates. Very often when we have a new version of the browser, we have security updates that come with it. So um, whatever happens, uh, if there's really nothing much in here or not, I'll be monitoring throughout the day. We'll see, and if anything shows up, I'll make another video. But at least I uh, wanted to talk about the fact that the latest version of Google Chrome is now available if you wish to update. Uh, so we are at version 96, which is kind of interesting. Um, we're getting close to version 100. Uh, you know, Google Chrome is the major browser that most people use. It has become dominant in its position. Um, like, you know, Internet Explorer became dominant long, long time ago. Um, you know, competition is a tough thing in the browser market. Um, I don't know, you know, we talked about, and I, I ranted a little bit about how Microsoft makes it difficult for people to really want to ch choose and use their own favorite browser. Uh, but, um, it doesn't prevent for now that, um, you know, Windows 11 is still new, but it doesn't prevent when the, the Google Chrome to still be dominant. Latest numbers for the browser so show that Chrome is more than 70% usage. Uh, so that's huge. It means that, you know, uh, most people you know use Google Chrome as their web browser. You know, for a lot of people, the browser is simply, you know, they, they'll, they'll use whatever they have and they'll use whatever they want to use when they're actually, they, they have something they like. Um, as a tech guy over the years, I noticed that change is something that's very difficult for most people. Change in the operating system and change of your favorite browser or whatever. Um, during the times of transition when I would actually tell people, well, you should move away from Internet Explorer and go to Google Chrome at some point because of compatibility issues with some of the websites. Um, that was very difficult to explain to most of them. So, um, and they didn't understand why, you know, and, and there's always the, yeah, but now I don't understand this or that. And it's like, yeah, well, it's just a browser, you know, but, um, it's, it's, it's something that definitely is difficult and it's going to be interesting to see the numbers, but it'll be difficult to move people away from Google Chrome. Most people that use Chrome will continue using Chrome just as people that use a different browser and like it will always stay on that browser also. I mean, there are still some people that use Windows, you know, 10 and, and just want to have Internet Explorer, um, which should never, never be used anymore. But, you know, habits are hard to change. So uh, if anything pops up in terms of new features or anything, I'll uh, let you guys know. Once again, upper right corner and to help and to about Google Chrome, and you should be at version 96.0, that's 4664.45. That's on all platforms rolling out this week, so uh, Windows, Mac, uh, and Android, you should uh, see this uh, new version popping up. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.